Here's your first actionable takeaway. And I promise you, if you make the time this coming weekend to sit down and do this with some honesty, some vulnerability, and a little bit of courage, it is an absolute game changer. Here's how you'll do it. You'll take out a piece of paper and you're gonna draw a vertical line down the middle. On the left side, I want you to come up with an exhaustive list of the things that you know fill your bucket. The things that light you up, that make you smile, that, that make you feel alive, that add to your confidence and, and optimism, the things that charge you up. Things physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, if that's appropriate to you. But I want you to come up with a list. Maybe it's taking a yoga class or pulling out your Peloton bike. Maybe it's meditation or prayer. Maybe it's listening to a really good podcast or waking up in the morning and having some coffee while you read the paper. Maybe it's taking your dog for a walk. Whatever it may be, but the things that nourish your soul, make you feel alive and fill your bucket, I want you to come up with a list on the left side of the paper. Then on the right side of the paper, I want you to write down how you've been spending the bookends of your day, your morning and your evening routine. What do you typically do in the first 60 minutes after you wake up? And what do you typically do in the 60 minutes before you go to bed? And remember, we are creatures of habit. I promise you, every single person in this room has a morning and an evening routine. My only question is, did you design it with intention or did you kind of walk backwards into it? But I want you to get crystal clear on what you've been doing. And to complete this self audit, I want you to compare the two sets of notes, the two sides of, of the line. And I want you to ask yourself the most pivotal question you can ask yourself when it comes to improving personal performance. Are you doing the things that you know you need to do to be the best version of yourself? Are you doing the things you know you need to do to be the best version of yourself? Even the highest performers in this room, if you do this with some honesty, some vulnerability, and a little bit of courage, you will still unlock what's called a performance gap. And a performance gap is the gap between what we know we should do to be our best self and what we actually do on a daily basis. And one of the fundamental keys to my work is coaching and teaching people how to close that gap how to start making sure that the stuff on the left side of your paper, that you care enough about yourself and you care enough about your families and you care enough about your colleagues and coworkers and you care enough about the people you serve to show up as your best self as consistently as possible. And you can't do that by accident and you can't rely on luck. You can do that with intention and with strategy. And that is by making sure the bookends of your day, you are making the time to do the things that allow you to be your best self.